last but not the least as always <laughs> nikilanna uh, chandan and tejashri so they're going to present on treatment of textile effluence by fly ash method over to you anna hello hello everybody this time to listen to your story okay one day a young man was moving around he found so many people who are concentrating on industries chandan keep tapping he found so many people who are concentrating on industries and all these industrialists are just thinking about the raw material and end products and usually capital right yes but this man is no longer interested in raw materials and as well as end products but whatever man is interested in the waste yes hello everybody really you are listening in the right way he was interested in waste so day by day he is in that interest has become his passion passion now he wants to see india has a zero waste country i think you all came to know that he is none other than arulaj ji we know that people with great vision will meet the people of great qualities right now this guy met another guy another disruptive guy i can say shavan sir in this way our hulhas ji enlisted to our isal family now these people created a room named as is isc industrial symbiosis for circular circular economy you know every time if something is created some people will come to join us now four people followed a line don't worry we have taken a one hand distance so that those are shivani tejashree chandan and rohit and we formed a team of four people named isee now kulhas ji vision has become a dream of four kids later many kids have joined don't worry this picture we have taken before corona so huh. so after all we have joined we have divisions and we now became as three of us who have a uh, subdivisions and they are making their own review paper and research now these three kids savansar told us one day think about the textile effluent because there is a very big chance of in india the waste is coming from the textile industries because of dyeing and all these dyeing particles are moved into water bodies and so like ocean seas all these are contaminated with this white dye colors so there is a much focus to be done even if there are so many methods but still there are many methods to do on this so to get up this is an ocean topic but how can we get a narrow path a narrow topic from this because a narrow topic can makes a very huge difference so we were we as a team of 3 do you, do you see that three guys are flying or oh, that's that those guys are really thinking about the narrow waste topic and they found another man of um, call textile hechori our hayvadana sir we met him and he told to concentrate on method called fly ash so textile effluent treatment by fly ash method has came into picture now so to remove this all dye particles a thing is to be needed so that is called fly ash which is an absorbent absorbent which removes this dye and cod from this contaminated water and that um, green shirt and red knicker boy is going to tell a whole story now i'm going <laughs> over to you nikolan thank you tejasvi so that was an interesting story right so yes we had an idea we we got an idea so what to do we we can work on it like putting our entire life we can but we are we are right we are 
having our graduation, right? So what can we do? We can do a small part. So we, uh, after after deciding to write a paper, so we got questions like, what is a paper? What kind of papers we have? So this is what we got to know. What is a review paper? What is a research paper? Review paper and research paper. Research paper is the one where we do the original work and the review paper is where we analyze, con comment and give and do a review. And for the re research paper, this primary source will be the topic what we are doing. It will be the source for the others others who, who do. And it can be it can be used by the people who are planning to write a review paper. And the review paper, for the review paper, as I mentioned, it the published literature will be the source. And the research paper has the contains the original data analysis and the research study which we only did, we did our own way and the review paper contains like, like we'll give a summary as Sharma sir and others mentioned we will give we will give them a gist of what the top what is the present state of, state of research or the state level of research has been made till the date and to compare the pay, the typical research and the review paper look looks like this we'll have an abstract introduction that background background of the topic methodology and re results and discussion conclusion and ac acknowledgement to compare between the research and review paper here we'll have in the research paper we'll have a methodology on the other hand the review paper will have a commonality between the research papers and will compare compare the specific topics how how the things have been done in them so that the one who is concentrating on specific topic, they they can approach that paper or something like that. And now, my friend Chandan will move forward with how, how we did the entire thing. Thank you. First of all, uh, before going to uh, before I'm going to talk, I consider say thank you to Stone Sir and uh, Ulhasji for guiding us in all the process, and also congratulations teams for their wonderful presentation. And before going to say, I also consider one point to say the the comments that has given by the uh, dignitaries has literally given me a lot of energy to explain all the things regarding uh, treatment process going regarding textile effluent. So uh, before going to say the explain the entire process, I would like to present our, our draft paper regarding a review paper on textile effluent. So wait a minute. Uh, this is our review paper regarding treatment process on textile effluent using coal fly ash method uh, it is a basic drop we need to uh, we need to consider uh, many changes uh, but i will be giving a big clarity on what is the process is what is how what are the uh, what the industry required or okay, thank uh, let me present my presentation uh, this is the process uh, we treat textile effluent using coal fly ash method so you can see on the presentation on the uh, left side uh, there is a picture of uh, textile effluent on the right side is a uh, coal fly ash uh, what what the main agenda of the paper is to decolorize the textile mat to decolorize the textile effluent uh, by using coal fly ash so here uh, we consider a uh, coal fly ash an absorbent and textile effluent textile effluent as an absorb is an absorbent okay uh, you all are familiar with our uh, textile effluent. Uh, before going to say why it is important to treat an effluent because that uh, it is necessary to treat effluent because uh, if it is directly discharged into an environment, then what happens? Uh, it 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 adversely affects the uh, your, uh, ecosystem and directly affects the human humans once. So it is important to it is important to uh, treat effluents before they are discharging into some streams or etc. So when uh, uh, here the process is uh, using a sorption process. So uh, we can use this, uh, we can we can also decolorize the textile effluent by using activated carbon or else a sawdust or else a uh, fly ash. Uh, why only we consider fly ash? So uh, before going to say why only we consider fly ash, what is a fly ash? I'll be explaining. A fly ash is a, uh, a industrial waste that comes from a thermal power plant usually and where 
as uh, as the coal burns the smoke that enters into the chimney and escapes to the gas right so before going to the chimney what happens there is an electrostatic specifier that collects the fly ash and that collects the fly ash uh, what are the fine dust particles that present in the uh, uh, that present in the air or the smoke that collects the fly ash and more or less the in india 80 to 100 million tons of fly ash is produced as a waste every year so it is a waste material and Uh, it has lot of applications and there is lot of work, uh, research work uh, going on how to make use of fly ash so so uh, i said that there are three uh, we can decolorize the textile effluent using uh, fly ash and activated carbon and sawdust uh, if we use activated carbon as a decolorizing agent what happens is it is more efficient and more more effective uh, in decolorizing but what uh, what the disadvantage it has is it is more cost effective when it comes to sawdust it is very 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 cheaper but uh, the efficiency the effectiveness is very less but when we consider fly ash it has two advantages it is very cheaper as it is a waste material and it is also have similar properties regard uh, when it comes as a similar properties more or less regarding activated carbon so uh, this is why we consider fly ash next uh what is the process that we uh what is the process that has been done in industry what what happens is when our the textile effluent that uh agenda is to increase the our paper agenda is to increase the decolorization and decrease the cod percentage values for textile industries method is sorption process adsorbent coal fly ash and pa- using packed column technique so whatever the uh, whatever the effluent that that passed into the packed columns so what happens in the packed columns there are alternate layers of sand and also fly ash whenever the fly ash uh, went to the packed column what happens the whatever the uh, dye matter that contains on the that contains on the effluent that get absorbed that get absorbed on uh, fly ash and and the remaining that get dis- and in the decolorized water or which is non hazardous mostly when the when the water is decolor and uh, the color when the effluent is decolorized it is mostly non hazardous it comes as it comes down so it is similar you can understand this is a similar proper process what we do in a tea uh, what we uh, make in usually tea in tea making process what we do after preparing a tea we use a string uh, to separate the slurry to separate the slurry in the tea and we take that so here also the same uh, here is a big packed columns we supply uh, uh, we pass the textile effluent in this packed column where the absorbents and the sand is present so what happens uh, by of, by discharging uh, whatever the dye contains on the uh, dye contains on the textile effluent will get discharged will get discharged and a non hazardous materials will come out so i will be explaining uh, regarding the effects due to absorption do- absorption doses ph and Uh, effects due to absorption time and temperature actually these experiments are done on a lab scale very 100 m taking in 100 ml of uh, 100 ml of uh, effluent and a few grams of fly ash so it can be samely applied to in a large scale and it can be applicable in a large scale but effects are important right so what happens uh, when a uh, use effects due to absorbent used Uh, there is a lot of importance that uh, we need to use more num- uh, more percentage of absorbent so that the percentage removal of decoloration increases as the uh, as the as the quantity used so it is important factor we need to look at in the industry uh, there is there need to be more percentage of uh, more more quantity to be used for decolorizing more percentage and next affecting factor is ph uh, ph yeah the water the uh, experiment shows that if there is if the if the effluent is more acidic then uh, then the more is the percentage in removal of decoloration of matter uh, decoloration of effluent so uh, more is the uh, uh, ph value there will be more in removal of uh, color and co increase in percentage of cod so uh, you can see in the graph clearly that where the acidic nature is more there is a more percentage uh, in decoloration of effluent and when it is a, is a basic nature and there is less uh, percentage in remol what what we can do is uh, before entering to the uh, uh, packed columns we uh, we we self acidify uh, we can make the effluent more acidic and then can send 
uh, when it comes to absorption time absorption time is also very much important factor as uh, we need to look at that uh, we need to uh, as the time increases there is, uh, as the time increases uh, as the time increases there is a uh, more in uh, removal of percentage uh, decolorization of uh, effluent so uh, time is also an important factor you can uh, clearly see from the graph next effect due to temperature I mean, temperature is, uh, is an most uh, is also a factor what happens is as the temperature increases uh, the decolorization decreases uh, sorry the percentage removal of decolorization decreases when compared to uh, lower temperatures uh, there will be high in high in uh, percentage removal of the uh, color so uh, what happens is uh, whatever the uh, that uh, whatever the dye matter that absorbed on the that absorbed on text uh, on the coal fly ash will as the temperature increases it again goes to its regular state so uh, more temperatures are, are not familiar only uh, maintaining a feasible temperature is also important so the now this is a slide you can see that how the overall process took place in a plant uh, it is a packed column where the effluent uh, effluent is passed and the uh, here the entire process is done the amount whatever the uh, whatever the color stuff that is on the effluent it get absorbed on the fly ash so uh, finally it get discharged here uh, which is a now it is a non hazardous and it can be relay uh, no so it is non hazardous so it can be uh, literally released into an environment no uh, no issues in so uh, thank you everyone for patiently listening uh, thank you for giving this opportunity add few words uh, friends do you know we are all fashionable and we are loved wearing jeans right so to make one jeans do you know how many liters of water can be used literally the 10000 liters of water can be used to a, make a single pair of jeans so think about how much we are contaminating our water so all this dyed water are just deposited into water bodies now such type of review papers or researches on how to reduce this dye materials from water has to come so this is a our small change from us thank you that's so cute buddy you know <laughs> how beautifully you have started i i thought my wedding will will be will become a singer too that's never happened <laughs> hey, all this 23 members along with me will agree yes or no singing <laughs> is not my cup of tea yes yeah. yes we agree <laughs> <laughs> but you did right we loved it i so think it is like poem <laughs> no i was like laugh i was like uh, the first part which you have told i was like interrupt you and tell you that it's so cute <laughs> it's so, it's so much i was going through all the comments so uh, it is so appreciable thank you so much it is giving me another excitement thank you so deserved so deserved um let me start with prakash sir okay uh, very good presentation and uh, every every topic is becoming very interesting eh? so congratulations to all the team members and uh, given by seven sir ulas ji and uh, sharma ji uh, yes uh, what two interesting points i want to make um, last year um, i was uh, doing some uh, safety studies for a textile chemical plants in gujarat so uh, you have taken one congo red or something like that but uh, just wanted to know um, i have uh, <coughs> i have uh, analyzed uh, the effluents uh, coming from a preparation of almost 10 dyes 10 different dyes okay in hansen so my my inter my my question was is uh, whether this fly ash will cover all the effluents com- coming from all the dyes that is a generic question which you can and under- um, include data okay so there what i saw is i saw the um, i was analyzing the uh, quality of effluents where the ph made a difference uh, basic and acidic effluents 
and also um, and no specific industry is having an effluent treatment plant they have very basic effluent treatment but one interesting thing i noticed there is gujarat in gujarat uh, the the industry what uh, where i did this studies in uh, near uh, broda so gujarat pollution uh, state pollution control board is uh, is collecting all these effluents through a different dedicated channel without polluting water bodies and uh, treating these effluents from various textile chemical units so i i want to tell you the team yeah, because you are doing such great work you cover all the maximum dyes that are possible and finally uh, go to this pollution control bodies particularly in gujarat and uh, share your findings so that uh, it may be useful for the environment first point second point in in other states other than gujarat where this uh, effluent treatments because the effluent treatment everyone will neglect all the companies will neglect this effluent treatment and they will not be responsible so it it is better to uh, to influence positively influence the pollution control boards of various states to collect all these effluents and then um, uh, implement these measures so that you know the um, there will be better effect that these are the two points i want to make so if you include that one it will, you know it will make uh, your uh, your work more relevant for the pollution control boards for those textile chemical companies and uh, towards a better environment thank you very much thank you so much sir thank you sir and you know what uh, chandan you said congratulations to the other teams congratulations to you too question at you you know what is the purpose of this one i mean you have done that in your paper but i just wanted to put you on the spot there and test you just just whether you can withstand the storm or not the questioning part of it okay you guys have done a marvelous marvelous job actually tayshree you have done an excellent job in introducing this as a story i think that was really good but you related i tell you you communicated very good story also your experience not just a story it's a waste of time if it is a story i'm not here for a story here but you have related the experience all right and uh, also what a review paper should consist of nicholas done a marvelous job actually you know in in, in outlining only thing that i thought would add more i don't know if you agree or not you are comparing different things you are writing your results but a review paper will always identify gaps ask any industry they will do market study if you want to manufacture soap and give it to people you have to first study who is manufacturing soap what would be the demand and then you write a report and saying okay this is the gap that exists and we can fill the gap by establishing this product or this is what it is right you that is a mark that's a review actually okay you are organizing a wedding okay you want caterers what do you do you do a review who are all out there all right what are all the pros what are all the cons of each of those caterers right i'm i'm giving a simple example here so and then you pick the best that you want for your occasion so a review paper is something like that you are literally looking at what is out there and picking the best or identifying uh okay now i have reviewed 20 but no one talks about the safety aspect of this so that is a gap that i'm seeing or i'm you know that is what you need to identify so in that paper in that list of things identification of gap it could be a research gap that we don't understand or it could be a it could be a uh, a, a a cost gap or tech, technical gap or it could be economical gap in other words this is a great technology but if we can bring down the cost it will uh, you know uh, it, it, it will be environmentally much more beneficial kind of thing all right uh, you know for same same thing antimony you know you or, or when you are trying to use potassium for it well lithium is environmentally not that friendly so we are substituting that it is a great gap 
that was there and you are filling it. So identification of gaps, whatever gap that might be, a market gap, a, 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 a cost, it would be it would be beneficial. So I think I think this is this is really great. You know, when I saw that temperature versus pH, why acidity actually helps? Why acidity helps? If you want to make if you want to keep uh, you know basically hydrogen ions protons there, are there any environmental things environmentally friendlier things that we can do instead of using HCl or H2, H2SO4 or HNO3? Is there anything that you can do? Can you use citric acid? which is lime juice. Can you use something else to keep that acidity high? You know, think out of the box and try to uh, and try to come up with those kinds of things, not just present these things. OK, if the temperature increases, this decreases, that increases, this decreases. It's very good. And one other important thing for everyone is, are those graphs generated by you? No. Then where is the gratitude thing? Uh, In the sense, you must, you must provide a citation. Give due credit to the people who have generated that. Sure. Right? So any sure. figure, any even cartoon figures, if you have borrowed from somebody, we should acknowledge there. I mean, that's a general thing for any presentation. I cannot go in there and claim that it is my graph when I'm presenting it. It is somebody else's graph. Yes, we are critically examining. I'm including myself in, in the group here. So that's what you should be looking at. These are all things that will improve your quality of presentations because you don't want to claim the ownership of those graphs, of those flowcharts. Okay, those are not ours. I mean, it's not, I'm not talking to you, Chandan. You don't have to take it personally. I'm talking to everyone here, including when I take somebody else's work, we have to put that citation there. Okay, I, I took this one here. Sometimes what it is, is you can modify it. In other words, you have taken a flowchart from somebody and said, okay, I am thinking of modifying this. Instead of using HCl, I'm going to be using citric acid. Then you can say, adapted modified after a basic diagram that was given by somebody. You are altering the procedure, you're altering. So these are techniques that you keep in mind when you are making a professional presentation. It will be useful. All right? Who is going to RIT? When you give a presentation there, you know, that, that's, this will be helpful. All right? So these are these are very important things, you know, for uh, that faculty look for. Our job is to praise, but yet prepare you for next decade. Now, next, I wish it's almost like in you know, a four or five decades. So, excellent, excellent job by everyone. I'm I'm so thrilled to be part of this, actually. But I I threw in my two cents there, you know. All right, um, very good, very good job overall. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Bill Hasri? You know, I liked um, uh, the, the picture of me and Shravan sir there. <laughs> exactly, sir. I do want to mention this thing. <laughs> that was wonderful, really. You know, it was very creative to, uh, to bring out that, uh, you know, the entire, uh, you know, that, uh, that, um, um, happening, you know, in, in a very, very creative way. I, I really appreciate, you know, that creativity which you have put in. I'm sure it has taken a lot of time, but I'm sure you also enjoyed doing it, you know, and that's that's very important. Uh, great. Thank you very much for that. And obviously, you know, uh, Mr. Prakash and uh, Dr. Sharma has already given very, very important uh, points, which I think, well, you know, you need to uh, take them into consideration while uh, revising and modifying and uh, making this particular paper more, uh, I would say, um, um, thorough, you know, in its content and also in its objectives. So uh, I'm sure, you know, with the kind of uh, 
capability that you have got, you will certainly do that. And uh, you know, it was remarkable. I I really liked it. And to tell you frankly, uh, I am not a professor, uh, so I cannot uh, you know compare uh, the 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 capabilities uh, you know or your capabilities. But uh, certainly, you know, each team had its own uh, credentials, its own benchmarks. You know, so some some team has uh, had uh, in, in a little different uh, uh, capability in some segment, and the other team had uh, the uh, stronger capability in another segment. But overall, I think it was extremely good, extremely good. You know, I'm sure uh, you are the better judge because you have worked on it, so you can understand uh, those particular uh, you know um, inputs which have come to you, and you can uh, revive uh, revise them. Uh, most appropriately for me you know uh, uh, i'll take some two minutes to explain uh, so which is going on in my mind uh, this when when uh, you know uh, this teams uh, came to me saying that mr ravan sir said that uh, you know these teams wants to write review paper so are you familiar i said to some extent yes i have done that so he said, can you uh, guide them in some ways? So I said, okay, I'll do that. And then I had opportunity of interacting with you all, you know, every every week, almost every week. And I didn't, we didn't miss. And I must, I must uh, congratulate you and also uh, kind of uh, applaud uh, your persuasion and passion for that and, and pushing me for that, you know, because I need to be pushed sometimes, you know, because I tend to be in, engrossed in something. So and that's what happened and a remarkable job remarkable job but for me you know in terms of the technical content uh you know i i i uh, I'm, I'm not an expert in those areas in which you are working so i cannot contribute but i only had a thought process in my mind that you know something should trigger and uh, uh, those trigger will happen if you know you take interest in whatever comes to you and that's what i see happening here you know the uh, the team which worked on fly ash adsorption you know they they like that topic the team which works on worked on the uh, battery uh, you know the potassium and base batteries they like that particular thing the cobalt thing they like that particular completely different subjects you know Absolutely, and I have a zero knowledge on that, right? But very interesting. And uh, who knows, you know, what these topics are going to do to you in years to come. And that's where I have a small story to say. You know, there was a Nobel Prize winner. His name was H.C. Brown. He earned his Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1979. I was a fourth year student at that time. And uh, when this this was announced, there was a lot of discussion in the newspapers at that time that the work for which this Professor Brown got the Nobel Prize was because of the work that was done by one Mr. Srivastava. I mean, basically his PhD, you know, that actually contributed to his Nobel Prize. And that Srivastava was working at that time in Hindustan Liver Research Center. So I had the passion that, okay, you know, so people who have caliber of being uh, Nobel Prize winners, you know, as somebody who are working in Hindustan Liver, and that was the passion for which, you know, I thought I should get an opportunity. Thank God I got an opportunity, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have really perhaps, uh, you know, enjoyed uh, my days as, as they are. And it so happened that while I was in Hindustan Liver at that time, you know, he had come. This Professor Brown had come to Hindustan. He had come to India on a tour, his family tour. Uh, and then he, since he was in India, and there were three PhDs who had worked with him who were working in Hindustan Liver at that time. So he was invited. So there he narrated a story for uh, on, on why he got Nobel Prize. I mean, what what was the trigger uh, for the work that he did for which you know he got Nobel Prize? So it so happened, he said, that he was in sixth standard, 
and in sixth standard you know there were many students and there was a girl also a lot in his class and they were very close friends very good friends and this girl and he both of course used to like each other be with each other you know and feel for each other so after a year or so it so happened the parents of this girl they had to migrate to australia so they were in us they were to sub migrate to australia and therefore this girl has to leave the school so the girl came and told him ki uh, his name is herbert you know so herbert you know i have to leave uh, this uh, you know in next whatever 8 10 days time 15 days time you know we'll be all moving to australia so we may not see each other any time so i want to give you a gift so is it okay for you so he said okay fine you know i'll accept it it's i'll keep it as a remembrance for me so this girl the sixth standard girl you know so she had found some book she doesn't have money right so what gift she will go she she had found some book somewhere which was little bit torn also so she brought that book and she gave it to him okay look this is the gift that i want to give you so he was also wondering i mean what is the gift that i am getting you know and that book actually was on boron chemistry a very preliminary book on boron chemistry and you know what he got his nobel prize for boron chemistry the work he did on boron chemistry so the trigger for the nobel prize was that book which was given <laughs> given by this girl in sixth standard you know to this guy so what i was looking for you know i mean is that try to find out some passion in you you know the topic that you in, is interesting to you and do some work right whether the book with the review paper will publish or not is not important of course it will get published i mean with 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 uh, so much of guidance that you have got you know from uh, very very knowledgeable people in this group but most important thing is it will trigger something you know somewhere in your mind in your heart right if there is something that i can do and i must do and that's where i think you know i was very fascinated by all these topics that you selected the discussions that you were having you know i don't know to what extent i was contributing but i was enjoying a lot for sure you know in terms of how the whole thing was happening and all, of course getting a little bit of uh, you know satisfaction that well the progress is there right now uh, and i'm sure you know today's today's presentation actually give me gives me a lot of uh, you know uh, satisfaction out of the whole thing you know as to what was happening in last 3 4 weeks time the interactions remarkable remarkable i'm very happy very happy you know and i'm sure in next 2 weeks time you know now that college is not there you'll put some good good effort and make this work that you are doing into a publishable document i think as professor sharma was saying you know you should share this you know there will be comments which will come you know don't don't hesitate or fear for those comments i mean they are for good and uh, you know try to gain more and more information uh, on 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 the topics uh, on the topic or on the suggestions that come uh, from me or from uh, others you know i think we should circulate it to more number of people it's not a patent you know so don't worry about it right so you can always you can always uh, you know convert i'm currently i'm writing a book and uh, you know every chapter i'm sending it to some some people by please review and let me know whether you know you you agree with what i am writing and whether this is okay so there is no hesitation you know if you have done a bad job you have done a bad job agree to that you know but try to correct it try to make it bigger and you know better that is the mo best uh, and most important objective and that's what has to be done so i'm sure you will do it and i think next two weeks uh, let let's let let's try to uh, you know come to that stage where uh, where you know you want to be you want to be yeah okay thank you so much thank you so much great work great work yes yes vijay can i say a few words yes 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 okay thank you uh, thank you dr sharma ulhas ji and prakash garu for attending today uh, i could clearly you know there was lot of uh, value you have provided uh, to all the teams 
and all of you the team's wonderful job my god i just can't even believe the progress that you all have made in the last you know few years uh the presentations the confidence the you know you're learning as you go you know you're learning on the fly you don't know any of these things and you're willing to learn and you're willing to talk with ulhas ji and try to you know uh, get his input so fantastic job and the many students that are attending this call and listening to this i hope you all have benefited as well uh, you know education is not about getting degrees education is about providing value to the society so i hope all of these presentations have given everyone in this group saying you know what what can i do to provide value to the society uh so in itself we express first and then think sometimes uh we as long as we are not you know criticizing a person not criticizing an idea we think we can just talk so i'm just going to make some i'm just going to talk some things uh so ulasi your idea of isc is very much needed in this world and i'm hoping whether dr sharma's students at his university and crest uh can also work with you and uh, you know make it a bigger team and create a much bigger impact so i'm hoping that is something which uh, you all will consider and uh, you know maybe we can have a call in the future to make that happen yeah you know uh, just to react to that uh... you know I, i i started introducing this concept now uh, at many locations in many forums and i'm getting a lot of uh, uh, interest you know from the industry segment so i we started work on one industry where these teams are working already right and coming out with very beautiful interesting solutions for the problems that the industry is facing on waste and how it can be converted into a valuable resource but apart from that now you know uh, there are also many other industries who are now looking forward to uh, working on this and i i believe that uh, students like this only can really uh, do that job the people who are who are already molded in industry segment you know they cannot do anything uh, or, which is which is uh, novel of this kind you know it's it, it requires a completely fresh thought as to what needs to be done and uh, that is where i think you know i'm seeing already a lot of uh, interesting ideas coming out of the of the of the teams which are working on uh, sulfuric acid or sodium sulfate or uh, you know the uh, the uh, dioxin uh, cooling water contaminated cooling water uh, which are waste streams of the industry what can be done with it and there is another one which has come to me that is the foundry sand what can we do with foundry sand there's another one which is coming to me uh, which is uh, basically the frp uh, frp waste you know can we do something so many industries are slowly coming to uh, realize that the waste that they are generating are something which actually are uncalled for and something needs to be done they are feeling guilty of generating this waste these days you know and they want to do something and that is where i think this uh, industrial symbiosis uh, really will be uh, helpful as a as a solution so i i am really looking forward to uh, shravanji uh, you know in terms of uh, getting as many uh, students on board as possible to introduce this concept and and, and come out with some interesting uh, you know uh, subject solutions i mean certainly there is no solution for that waste uh, today right so that is why it is waste so there is no harm in working on it at the most what will happen nothing will happen correct okay? but if something happens it will be remarkable thing so with that premise you know the whole thing is happening so i'm sure you know we will come yes, up with yes. uh, very interesting uh, solutions uh, and then uh, uh, over a period of time a lot of research will start happening on that you know and maybe you will lead those research i feel you know let's see do you want so to this 
yeah, just want to ask a question to you so yeah i see so it has got its great importance have you observed any relation between e cell team is uh, of course we observe many relation so we can relate to it so specifically there are two things to mention about uh, relation between the uh, to p cell and uh, isc so we are focusing on adding value so uh, however isc automatically add values so between industries and for the people who uh, who are there in the environment so it's a sustainable thing and it add adds value so and isc starting uh, starting with an one man idea how we sell started how to be sell started so it has got its uh, great endurance uh, how to pcl has got its so isc isc will be setting a benchmark it's already set a benchmark in the whole uh, industries so it's uh, not only adding value between two industries it's not only a symbiosis between two industries but it's symbiosis throughout the world so how, that's why we call global circular economy and our ulhas ji is a global circular uh, consultant for that so we are very glad that we connected with uh, top isel or values and adding value through technology through knowledge what we have in chemical engineering or whatever so engineer inner engineering we spoke about on that day so inner engineering and all covered uh, through isc so thank you very much thank you <clears throat> so anything prakash garu and uh, dr sharma before uh, let vijay ends the call everything has been spoken uh, the lack of it this uh, this this uh, activities yeah it, it's great actually prakash garu actually by uh, shravan garu was suggesting several time i mean a couple of times he mentioned about us meeting and uh, i'm so glad uh, today we were able to see each other virtually and uh, i i know all has you and of course i we we were actually together a couple of days back for another event uh, unfortunate event but you know so it is great actually let me tell you there is a lot of potential i think now what ulhas is suggesting is a wonderful concept actually that is required for india yesterday i had a discussion with reliance um folks back on about their waste that is coming out of their novel gasifier that they are putting out now uh, it is uh, it has tremendous amounts of unburnt carbon and the waste that they are producing from their gasifiers is rich in vanadium and nickel mm. there's nothing else in petroleum waste actually uh, the, the, the ash of course it is blended with some <clears throat> ash from other power plant so mukherjee is very much interested in doing in 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 in, in salvaging some of those uh, things actually anything we can do and tremendous amount that is the largest gasifier complex in the world they have built in jamnagar i'm not talking about in my backyard here it is right there and it is going to landfill there is a shortage of vanadium which is nickel um uh, it, you know so a lot of potential actually we have examined here potential for nickel as advanced combustion um for chemical looping combustion actually nickel oxide basically burning the fuel supplying the oxygen and then it goes back to nickel and then again you just use air instead of using expensive air separation units so utilizing waste to make anything useful is amazing and the circular economy concept is amazing you know let me tell you honestly i did i don't have enough time or i I didn't have enough interaction with the last as much as I would I, I now I would like to because we are working in the same area and we are you know we know each other for 40 years that's unfortunately <laughs> that is the circular thing that we are trapped into <laughs> <laughs> you know otherwise I think I think I, I think we should we should put this we should put this together and you know I think we should we should explore we good opportunity and prakash gar and I think it is a great team this is this is something that we can definitely explore shravan i know as you said i think uh, we will definitely do as much as possible but we are we're already in a in a circular thing here like right? <laughs> uh, juggling balls you know that's the way like, i know if there is I... you know, if there is any time i would love to do that and i tell you you know i'm very happy to see these young minds
you know, thinking in a different way, actually. That is what I'm happy about. You know, we are all in the fading sun. Basically, we are like, you know, fading sun. We are just getting out of the picture, but yep. I'm glad to see. Yeah. Dr. Thank Sharma, uh, one of the things I can do uh, is make that facilitation or collaboration happen in a easier way or a smoother way. So that is something I can assist between Prakash Garu, Sharma Garu, and all of you. I can uh, put together whatever that is needed uh, to make that collab. Because I know so I'm like retired, right? <laughs> so I have the time. <laughs> you, 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 Hello? you know, you, you're not even tired. Don't talk about retired. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you know, you you're you're not even tired. I tell you, I I I I feel sometimes you know jealous about how much time you are able to spend in spite of all your other responsibilities. It is it is amazing. You know, I I tell you, uh, this generation must be really you know thankful and grateful to you for for your service. But. Um, uh, unfortunately, we, uh, you know, I, I, I have other things that I'm. Otherwise, I would, I would love to, I would love to contribute. And with your help, we will do our level best. You know, Thank whatever you. I can yeah. do, I will definitely do. And keep up the good work, folks. That's very important. Uh, but be prepared to face the sometimes harsh criticisms in the world. Yep. World is not a place where you will be served with a silver platter. So that is something that you must understand. Uh, but yet, have confidence. Don't look back. Okay? Now you, you see the situation of oxygen. You know, how many opinions, how many criticisms, how many things come up in right now at home? You know, oh yeah. So there is no shortage of, of criticizing each other. Um, so just let's, let's be on the positive side. You know, all right. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate. I have to run to other uh, meetings so now. Yeah, sure. Uh, nice Thank seeing you, you all. Uh, you. It's great, Prakash Garo. I'm I'm happy to meet you virtually here Thank today. Uh, Thank, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice Thank you sir. again. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. See you. You know, it Thank is you. it is wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah. Sure. You know, Shravan Garo. Thank you very much for inviting me. And Tejasri has sent special invitation to me, so that I thought maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, sir. Thank you, yeah. sir. I, I want to present something. Please give me a minute. Yeah, and, and, and Rohit's message yesterday was very good, too. So I wish, you know, I had um, a bit more time. But thank you. Yep. The one thing which has excited me is, after all the message you have seen, you asked me, are you presenting? Yes, I told you, yes, I am presenting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, anyone. You know, I enjoyed every presentation, but that was just, you know. Yes. Um, this as token of gratitude and love from all of us to all of you. Thank you, Ulhas Parlikal, sir, uh, Sharma Pisupati, sir, Vibhi Prakash, sir, for your valuable comments and suggestions. Your presence gave us extra energy and added value to our session. And thank you, Team ISC, for letting us know about your experiences of writing a review paper. We are grateful for your presence. All the best. So gratitude. And um, I really want to thank all of you for being here, uh, especially all the guests who are, who have given like really sir you have given really valuable comments for all of us N not only for the presenters but also the people who are attending who are listening like um for being for taking an inspiration to write write a review paper and also to consider the things which we which we really had have to look into and i i think i i'm hon I like i i'm very pleased and i'm very honored to host this session. Thank you. Thank you. You, you hosted it very well, Lekvija. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Yeah, that, that, that's 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 sure. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Bye. 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 Thank you, good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Prakash, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.